Leaving your estate to your lover rather than a blood relative will raise some eyebrows. In N. Ray Will of Moses, the majority and dissent take radically different approaches to the relationship between the testator and her lover. Because the testator's lover was also her attorney, the majority finds cause to presume undue influence. The dissent sees a powerful independent woman who had her will just the way she wanted it. Fanny Trailer Moses was a successful businesswoman who managed commercial properties and had outlived three husbands. In the latter part of her life, she suffered from serious health conditions and alcoholism. After the death of her third husband, she began an intimate relationship with Clarence Holland, who was 15 years her junior. Holland was also Moses' attorney. In 1964, Moses visited another attorney, Dan Shell, and asked him to draft a will. She instructed Shell that the will was to revoke all her prior wills, including a 1957 will that left most of her estate to her sister. Instead, Moses wanted to leave her estate to Holland. Shell knew nothing of the nature of Moses' relationship with Holland and didn't inquire into it. Shell drafted the will according to Moses' wishes, and Moses signed it. Moses died in 1967, leaving a sizable estate. The 1957 will was admitted to probate. Holland tendered the 1964 will. The Chancery Court declined to accept the 1964 will, citing undue influence. Holland appealed to the Mississippi Supreme Court.